Honor Club, where honor is real. Chris is awesome. He's as hot as it gets. The type to drop you quick with a mafia kick. Got the hunger of a young lion. Plus the eye of the type. Humble you like he's a young Tyson. That young knockout kid splits your wig. At the 12th anniversary, Nigel, so much controversy about the outcome of the match. Chris Hero had Adam Cole tapping out for the stretch plum. Yep. Referee never saw it because he had gotten knocked to the outside of the ring. So a great call on your behalf to not only sign the rematch, but make it a ringmaster's challenge, two out of three falls. Absolutely. Well, we're going to see a clear winner and a clear loser. You're a very capable. And as you said, had him tapping there in the middle of the ring. Will we see it again here tonight? I don't know. Well, the first fall, pinfall only. The second fall, submission only. And if necessary, fall number three, 15 minute Iron Man. A sprint to the finish. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our main event of the evening. It is a ringmaster's challenge for the Ring of Honor World Championship and is a two out of three falls match. First fall, won by pinfall. Second fall, won by submission. Third fall, if necessary, will be a 15 minute Iron Man match. <laughs> Introducing first, the challenger from Metropolis, This is going to be one hell of a main event, Kevin. Yes. I couldn't wait when I signed this. Salivating at the prospect. Do you think we'll see the 15-minute Iron Man? I don't know. Well, I would say, I think the... The second fall favors Hero. I think it's in a submission match, I think Hero can get it done. I, I think that so. stretch plum is a devastating submission hole. Cole's gonna have to do a lot of work to get the figure four applied. So it all really depends on the first fall. I think whoever wins the first fall wins the match. So here are the tall range individual, a good 6'4, six, 6'5. Six, Cole giving up about three or four inches at least in height. Maybe a couple of pounds in weight, I'm not sure. Cole's just been unstoppable. And a lot of times we've talked about real one of world champions in the past, how there's always a point in time where they start to get weakened. Championship, ma championship match after championship match, the injuries add up. I don't see that in Adam Cole, one iota. No, you're right. Well, there are a number of challengers lining up against Cole. Hero at the top of the list. 
Adam Cole is on all cylinders right now. Well, Cole's young. He started young. He's still 23, 24 years old. I mean, he, he's recuperating power. It's there with the best of them. The hero, as you saw there, a great technician. Able to transition from hold to hold with, no, with great ease. And thus far in this first decision, submission is not a factor. No, not at all. It's pinfall only here in the first fall. We're watching Chris Hero work out today here in the ring. Rolling through some drills, some mat work. Focusing on the fundamentals, it really seems. Yeah, he's a real student of the game. He had a lot of the young guys in here, and he was just showing them a few things. Ways to get holds, way to get out of holds as well. He really is a student of the game. He's studied every aspect there is. Wrestled in nearly every country, every corner of the globe, Australia, England, Germany. South America, Mexico, he's been everywhere. And look at that, there's a great pinfall yeah, attempt. Great way to put Cole's shoulders down. If Hero wins tonight, he's gonna have to deal with Jake Briscoe. Gonna have to deal with Kevin Steen, gonna have to deal with Unbreakable Michael Elgin, gonna have to deal with AJ Styles. And if Adam Cole could somehow emerge as still the world champion after tonight, it's one down and a whole lot more to go. One of Adam Cole's first title defenses was in a ringmaster's challenge against Roderick Strong. It did get down to the third fall. Watch out. Oh, oh, big kick there. Cole won in controversial fashion, running out the time after gaining a two falls to one advantage. Literally ran away from the ring as time expired from Roderick Strong. Once again, shoulders of Cole are down. Lance flushed across the midsection. And Hero is deceptively strong with that height as well, with the leverage. He knows exactly how to put all of his body weight on somebody. Just like that. Case in point. The hero loves to use those boots with long legs. There's a lot of, lot of power behind those kicks. Early on in his career was known as the... Uh, was known as the young knockout kid. has many ways to beat you. Oh, you hear that? He says, go back to wrestling and kicks him in the stomach. Yeah. Hero tried to break his fall, tried to catch himself at least a little bit, fell flush to the uh, concrete floor here at the Frontier Fieldhouse. No, oh, nobody there. Cole is down. Whoa! Oh. Down goes out of Cole. The Ring of Honor World title is at stake. Ringmaster's challenge. Just a one count. Well, guys, the caliber of Cole and Hero, you made a great point about whoever wins the first decision is gonna win the whole thing, because with guys that are this good, 
You, you really are going to have to wear him out to get that first pinfall attempt. Exactly right. First. So that's going to make you uh, the clear, give you the clear advantage for the submission. And if you don't get that, oh wow! In the 15-minute Iron Man, you are going to be clearly the favourite. Hero skull jammed into the canvas. I've never seen Adam Cole use that move before. Outer leg hooked, inner leg grapevine. Hero is still able to kick out. Of course, a lot of talk with Adam Cole has always, always surrounded the company that he keeps. And whether it be Matt Hardy or Michael Bennett and Maria, when the world champion, bell to bell, he's as good as there is. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. And the Ring of Honor World Championship, the most prestigious in the sport. Hero the bridge to get out. And Adam Cole, whether you like it or not, is the best wrestler in the world today because he is the Ring of Honor World Champion. Wide open there. Hero down, he kicks out a two. And notice to be slow. Cole seems to be getting through his armor. Each time Hero kicks out, he floats over to the stomach. Instinctively. Oh. And those hands up as well, like you said, that's instinct from the veteran. Been around the sport for a long time now, 15 years at least. Oh! response from the flurry from Hero. Well, that's why we haven't seen that much of technical wrestling from Chris Hero, who's very apt to use it. Perhaps favoring Adam Cole. That's why in the match. Full slam. Yeah, no way he's getting a three there. Oh, and Hero picking up the pace to see that. Cole goes, rolls towards the ropes. Gets himself out of danger. Yeah, the ropes are a champion's best friend. <laughs> Muay Thai training with Hero is done as well. You can see that. Beautiful. Uh, that's neck strength alone. That's going to be five or six of those kicks that Hero has utilized thus far in this match. Everyone hitting the mark. Beautiful. From the cravat to the neck breaker. A labored kick out there from Cole. It, Nigel, just as you were saying, Hero needed to find that next gear. He's turned that switch and now has gone back on the offense. Getting back to Chris Hero offense the way he works best. Absolutely. Oh! Straight right hand. And just like that, Hero back on the offense. Hero way ahead on points thus far. To the top he goes. High risk attempt. Oh! Comes up empty. Four. There it is! King! Oh, beautiful! Bridge two, he got, got him! Ladies and gentlemen, winner of the first fall won by pinfall is Adam Cole. We now begin second fall 
one by submission. Well, there we are, Kevin, like you said. Now Adam Cole clearly has the advantage, but what an interesting point. Hero had the majority of the advantage in that first contest, and out of nowhere, Florida Key, one, two, three. Yeah, it was one mistake from Hero, and that was going to the top. He came up empty on the high risk. And now the bell sounds after the rest period, and here comes Cole. Submission only, so we know what Cole is gonna do. Trying to work on the legs for that figure four. Too early, though. Not weakened enough yet to get that figure four. Hero covering up. You can hear it. The referee does have his dis in his discretion too for a stoppage. If the wrestler is unable to verbally submit or to tap out, and I think back to Cole's semifinal win in the world title tournament against Tommaso Ciampa, he had the figure four locked in. He kicked at Ciampa. Champa went out, and the referee had to stop it. But it was the figure four that led Cole to victory. Hey, wait a minute now, Nigel. There it is on the outside. He's got a count. Ref's going to give him on a count and get him back in there. The agony that must be coursing through Chris Hero right now. There's a four count. He releases on five. Damage done, though, and that's what you got to do with that knee. That post can be your friend. And the look on Cole's face says it all. He smells blood in the water. He knows he's got Hero weakened. He's gonna look to close the door on Chris Hero and win two straight falls. Now trying again. Gets caught, but... Instinct for Chris Hero there. Try to get the pinfall. But even if he couldn't, he stopped the figure four leg lock, and that in and of itself is good enough. Yeah, it's victory enough. Dragon screw leg whip. The torque on Hero's knee at parent. Oof. Hero crumbles that time. Todd Sinclair asking if Hero wants to submit, and he says no. There's no doubt what Colt's game plan is. It's the knee into the figure four if he can get it. Oh! Master Yi shall receive the hero too weak to capitalize. Oh, what a hurt. One straight right hand slows out of Cole now. But Cole is able to get back to his feet first. Up oh, submission, a chin, oh, it's a shoulder lock, a deep shoulder lock. It's the same talk as a Fujiwara armbar, but from a different angle. And thankfully for Cole, he could get to the ropes and release the pressure. Cole. As Hero was about to strike, with another elbow smash. Cole drops him with a kick straight into the knee. The eyes of Adam Cole say it all. Oh, went for the destroyer. Well, muscles him up, what are we looking for here? Electric chair, perhaps. We'll dump him straight back. Warren elbow, oh, to the back of the head, he's out. And now he's gonna look for a submission again. He goes, oh, look at the torque on that. He's gonna to have to tap. He could bust his shoulder. And yes, he's yes, done yes. It. Adam Paul taps out. Winner of the second fall by submission, Chris Hero. We now begin the 15 minute Iron Man match. Well, there will be a brief rest period. 
So, so now, interesting what we've seen thus far. The first decision we had here on take the most of the offense, and out of nowhere, Adam Cole takes the victory. Yeah. Second time, Adam Cole had most of the offense, and Chris Hero out of nowhere. And now Hero, who has taken the knee brace, the knee guard, off of his right leg, put it on his left for added support. Eerily reminiscent to Cole in his victory over Roderick Strong. He knows he's got to stay away from Hero. But he couldn't stay away anymore. Keep an eye on the time limit. We're about one minute in to this 15 minute. 15 minute Iron Man. Most falls in 15 minutes. And this is a concept that we really championed in the Western Cares Association in Los Angeles. So I've seen a lot of these 10, 15 minute Iron Man matches. And it's so, such a different strategy in these matches. See, if you take submissions, for example, it behooves you to tap out as soon as you possibly can, gives you another chance to come back in. And if you remain in that submission hold for any length of time, you eventually have to tap out. You're then weakened for a follow-up. Exactly. And the falls can build up against you. So it is great strategy here in amongst grueling competition. Oh, my! Cole is out! Oh, that might be the first one! One, two, three! Got it! That's one to zero. So Chris Hero now Chris has... Chris Hero in the lead. One, an advantage of one fall to none here in 15 minutes of time. If you see the way, though, that we talked all night about how to pin someone, put as much body weight on them as possible. Hero drove with his hips, making sure every ounce of his body weight was across Adam Cole's shoulders. And now we're going to try for it again. That roaring elbow to the back of the neck. If he can hit this, it might be two. No! Cole connects. Oh, he got it! All the way from the top, two, no! Oh, no! Cole looking to tie things up quickly. And that time ticking away. Cole has a lot of experiences in these matches as well. Went all the way to the finals of the Wrestling Cares Association. Waits for the ring. Just picked at the post. But he is as, as adept in this style as anyone. Florida Key again. Going to try to clasp the arms together. Back to the knee. Oh, shiny wizard, got it all. He drilled him with that exposed knee. Oh. A lot of frustration on his face. He's frustrated now, you can see it in his eyes, because he knows that if the time is to expire, he will lose the world title. Chris Hero is up, one fall to none. Oh, it looks like dead weight, though. The third times a wrestler will do that. I remember doing that a lot of times when I was wrestling. You just go dead weight as long as you're close to the ropes. They can't beat you. It takes a lot more energy to move you around. Playing possum to a certain extent. Well, now, Cole trying to hook and bring Hero back in. Cole driven down. Second time with the neck breaker. The leg is hooked to no. The frustration mounting for the world champion Adam Cole. The title hangs in the balance. He can certainly understand that frustration. 
with Hero with that big boot and driving the hips for the pinfall. Got the one straight away, got the, uh, the one decision, and now Cole's had three or four big pinfall attempts, and every time, every time Chris Hero is kicked out. About five minutes have expired in the 15 minute. Hold on Hang a second. on a second now. Cole's Ten just gotten... Remain. He has just gotten... If he gets disqualified here, it won't end the match, but it will cost him a fall. So Adam Cole disqualified. Hero's now up two to nothing. But wait, wait, look at his face. That's smart, that's smart. Yes, he's two down, but Hero's out. Hero, Hero is out. Well, Hero is defenseless. And now all Adam he has Cole, to do... Two to one. He's right there, pin him again. What a smart move from Adam Cole, using the rules to his advantage. So Adam Cole trails two falls to one. But Chris Hero knocked out from that title belt. Oh, nothing Hero can do. Heads three. So now we are tied. Adam Cole, two to two. Well, genius. I mean, I hate to say it, Kevin. But really genius from Adam Cole. Look at Adam Cole. He's taking his elbow guards off. He's taking his wrist tape off. Nigel, he thinks it's over. Well, we're getting close to about eight minutes left, I think. He damn near is over. He was one nil down. Now he's equalized and Hero is nearly out on his feet. There it is. Florida Keys, the bridge. No! No. Well, the master plan may be not working out just yet. But go for it again. Tenacious in his efforts, another Florida Keys attempt. Hero drives him to the buckle again. Oh. A pair of super kicks. A third. Hero. There it is. And now Adam Cole. Adam Cole, three to two. Just over halfway done through this 15 minute Iron Man period. And it's three falls to two for Adam Cole. Just a few minutes ago, Nigel, Cole is down 2-0. How quickly the tide has turned in this world title match. Blowing him a kiss. Oh. Oh, Chris Hero is done. Chris Hero, two, no. Don't write him off just yet, fans. Big guns now. Hero out on his feet. A second one, yes. Bad drop driver. Somehow he's up to his feet. Instinct trying to get away from the middle of the rope. Desperately trying to cling on for a headlock. That's the one way. Drop your hips as well as you can to prevent that back drop driver. How is Hero fighting through this? Instinct alone. But no, there it is. Fighting spirit. Both men down. Six minutes remain.
Hero's down. And down. Enough to break the count, though. Wow, Cole really hurt as well. Both men absolutely exhausted. They've given everything they have. The Ring of Honor World title has eluded Chris Hero throughout all this time. And with five minutes remaining, It's going to be the longest five minutes of these men's lives. Another short punch. Clubbing forearm. It's a slap. Well, I think, Kevin, this is going to come down to one more decision. Just caught Cole. The flat of the foot extended. This crowd being stunned into silence at this display of violence. We are under four minutes now in the time. Cole's legs buckle. Suplex. Figure four. There it is, finally. He worked on Hero's knee throughout the submission only, second fall, but was unable to get the figure four applied. Will Hero tap? Hero's got to. A little over two minutes to stay in this hold if he wants to. But the ropes are closed for us, he doesn't need it. Cole hung on to that figure four as long as he legally could. Cole has already been disqualified on purpose one time here. That's where the complexion of this match changed in the 15-minute Iron Man frame. Blatantly swinging the world title belt, knocking out Chris Hero. Capturing two falls and leading to an eventual third. Oh, oh and Hero's knee as Cole crashed to the canvas. Hero's knee buckled as well. There he's gonna go for that submission again. There it is. Oh, look at the talk. Cole tapped out So once. close. He's gonna break his shoulder. Cole's He's... shoulder may pop out of the socket. His arm may give way. Remains. All right, it's three to two. And look at this now, Nigel. Cole with the advantage. He's running away, just like he did with Roderick Strong. Come on. 30 seconds. 30 seconds left. Got him. Oh. He caught him. Has time run out for Adam Cole? Coming down to zero. Well, there is 
A few seconds left. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our Iron Man match. That's it. So the 30 minute. Looks like we have a tie. Wait no, a minute, no, no, wait no, no, a minute, no, no, wait no, 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 a minute, no, no. wait. It continues. Hold on. Hold on. Should confer with. Well, hold on. All right, listen. Ladies and gentlemen, there will be a winner here tonight. This match will continue sudden death until there's a victory. Ring the bell. Sudden death overtime. Submission. Somehow Hero lacerated his hand. It might have been on that big strike out on the floor. I think it's his hand, perhaps. Yeah, it's his, his hand. Yeah, his left hand. Well, it was a great game plan from Adam Cole after going one decision down to grab the belt. I hate to say it, but he had Chris Hero from the beginning. Sudden death overtime. Hero is your... Hero fell victim. Adam Cole is your winner. I wonder if that hand injury played a factor. You right know, at the end there, yeah. Oh, that's bleeding a lot. Yeah, while we were taking a look and what the decision was going to be as time expired, Hero's hand. Well, anyway, Adam Cole is your winner. Fans, as we know, it's what as we know, it's wild and out of control here in Road Rage. Adam Cole retains the Ring of Honor World Title. But Jay Briscoe, Michael Elgin, Kevin Steen, AJ Styles, they're all lined up. Adam Cole's gonna have to try to knock him down one by one by one by one if he hopes to be the Ring of Honor World Champion.